Well, I was playing around a little too much and I jumped the I jumped the tracks off the cogs or whatever. I got ice got built up in here. I mean it's hard hard. So I think that caused the track to ride up a little bit and skip over. So now I gotta try to pull back and get it realigned. This is a Magna Track Junior. It's right there with the front end loader kit. It also has forks and a blade. And then it also has a hydraulic um, through sleeve hitch. I might have to. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that track back on yet. I'll have to look at it for a little bit. I was able to get the track back on. What I did is just loosen up this. Um, I guess it'd be like a tensioning spring, right here. Back the nuts off. Put the slack in the strat track. Was able to move it over. But now I notice that there's actually a chain that drives the that drives actually the cog, and the chain came off. So I'm gonna pull this whole thing off. Look at the chain, see if I need to replace the chain, put it back together. Took the spring all the way off, and I've just been slowly shimming it off one side. It's all the way slack. Should be able to get it off here in just one second. The weight of the track itself keeps drooping and keeps retensioning itself, but it's almost off. Chain just slipped off. So I'm gonna take all that off, look at it. Looks like there's a couple teeth. Okay, more than a couple teeth broken off the the actual gear, the chain gear. So I'm gonna probably weld some new teeth on. So half the teeth were just the tips of them were chipped off, so I welded new tips on all of them. Now I'll just grind them flush. It's not a high speed gear. It moves really, really slow, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but it'll just help with a little bit more gripping power in the chain. We'll just sit on there a little bit nicer. So I'll just take the angle grinder, you know, work in and out of each, each one that I actually welded a little bit on. Got all the teeth welded back up ground down to how they should be. I actually got a new chain. I know it doesn't look new, but this is actually a new chain. It's just it's just rusty. All the links are nice and free. But one of the reasons you should change your chains is the old chain, even though the same amount of links, it's actually probably an inch longer just for the short distance. You know, but see you the new chain when it's fitting on the gears. You see how it fits tight. 
I can't I can't pull I can't pull it away from the back gears so it actually fits into the pockets nice where the old chain if you'll notice even though it's cinched up here in the front back here in the back I mean look at that So that's why the teeth broke, is because where this chain is pulling, even though it has such a huge, big grabbing area, it's only pulling on the outside of these teeth, just, you know, probably only this much on each side before it wraps around the gear. But the new chain, you know, it sits tight all the way in there. I mean, I can't even make this, I can't even make this one sit tight. It's so loose, so worn out. Well, all the teeth are ground down that I welded on. They're all nice and nice and new. Put it back on the, the magnet track and we'll go play with it. Got the track back on. Went on actually really easy. New chain and everything. I thought I'd show you how it works. There's one main engine pulley that runs back, and grabs onto this pulley right here, but it's just idle right now until you release this lever and it tensions up that pulley. Then these other, this is the left side drive, that's the right side drive. The two belts. These are forward, reverse, forward, reverse. So you push this lever forward. What it does is it just grabs, it just tensions the two, two outside, and makes the track. You pull it down, and it tensions to that single outside belt, and makes the track move in reverse. And then the same for the right side track. Forward, reverse. And so you can have one going forward, and one going reverse. And just opposite. Forward, reverse. Lets you change speed really fast. It's actually really simple, but it works really good. Got it all jacked up right now.